So Disney acquired Fox. When I heard this news, I wasn't like freaking out. I, it didn't bother me at all, really. And to be honest with you, it kind of doesn't surprise me. The way movies are going nowadays, it's just, and same thing with video games, it's just one giant fish eating another one at this point. And because superhero movies and everything like that are doing so well, it doesn't surprise me at all that Disney would go for something like Fox, which holds some of the biggest movie franchises that are out there. Die Hard, Home Alone, uh, you know they could do something with Home Alone easily reboot it all together if they needed to or bring back Macaulay Culkin or something like that um, now would I want to see that Pfft, maybe I don't know X-Men but uh Die Hard did I already say Die Hard I might have said Die Hard already but this video is about the most important franchise the only franchise that matters to me the most which is the Alien and Predator Universe films Now, I did a video, a uh, movie review of Alien Covenant and how awful it was. There were a few naysayers in the bunch, but uh, I think overall anyone that actually has a respect for the Alien film franchise, as well as an actual love for the franchise, not this fanboy support anything that comes out kind of mentality knows that Alien Covenant was horrific. And if I were Disney right now, I would take the time to sit back and maybe reboot altogether or eliminate the Alien Covenant stuff altogether. Alien Covenant and Prometheus, I eliminate both of them from my equation. Because when it comes to Disney, why... While they don't make some of the best films, let's be honest here, this, I've heard some people say Disney doesn't make bad films. Uh, on the contrary, I've seen my fair share of Disney movies and I can say there are some shitty ones in there, some stinkers if you want to put it that way, in Disney terms. Uh, but, Aliens and Predator. Now, from what I understood, there's supposed to be a Predator movie that was in the works. I saw a movie poster of it. Um, I posted it on Twitter, and I've been waiting for a trailer for the movie so I could do a breakdown of what I think the movie's going to be about. And from what the picture looked like, I'll insert it here, it looks like it was going to be a film about Predator Concrete Jungle, which I would hope would finally get a film adaptation it is the most logical choice to make into a film. And anyone that knows this channel over the years or watched streams over the years knows that the thing I can talk about till I'm blue in the face is the Alien and Predator universe. So if I had just acquired those two franchises, the one thing I would do is let the Predator movie come out that's being made, or whatever yeah let the predator movie come out and then instead of making a new alien film i would think this would be the perfect opportunity to take the alien franchise in the way i feel like it should go instead of films at this point because the comic book series and the comic book universe of alien is so vast there are so many branch off stories that are told within the dark horse alien universe then I would take it to a TV series. And that's what I'm hoping Disney is going to do. Now, just because Disney owns it doesn't mean Disney has to make the fucking thing. It means they can put it out to Touchstone or Miramax, you know, or, or even branch out even further. Disney, we're talking a whole nother level here. Fox is a huge corporation, huge. But Disney is a mega conglomerate. It is a fucking industry and a business that succeeds most of any of the entertainment industries out there when it comes to movies or entertainment I guess they're just huge you can't fight Disney is what everyone says it's the stereotypical thing Mickey Mouse holds all the power here and um, if 
Disney really wanted to, they could do anything. They could make an alien TV show and make it work. You could hire the entire Dark Horse writing team from each different comic book franchise to come in on these different episodes or different series that you want to get into. And that's the beauty of the Alien comic book franchises, is that you can, if you're going to make a show, you can make different series go on at the same time. Or plan them out. You've got Hive Wars. You've got just so many. Hive Wars is just one example. It's one of my favorites. Red and black aliens fighting each other. Um, but then you've got Predator, which another thing I think should move towards... Uh, TV after this film. Now, uh, I'm not sure who owns Terminator. I think that's Universal still, my own Terminator. But if Terminator... I know Terminator had its own kind of shows back in the day, but this was before TV for science fiction, I, I would like to say. I'm not talking about Stargate or anything else, but I'm talking about major motion pictures being converted over into television. Terminator did that, but it wasn't done very well. And anybody that watched Sarah Connor Chronicles is like, eh, it's all right, but it ain't Terminator. You know, it's it's not T2. It's not even on the level of T1. But what I want to see is Disney do the right thing. And I'm sure Disney has a lot of people working there that are going to try to make the smartest decision, decisions. But what worries me also is Disney could go the other route. Disney could go the route of closing out the franchise for years until they need to pull it out or feel the need to pull it out. Meaning, it could be 10 to 20 years, if ever, if we see another alien film or alien TV show or Predator or anything of that nature. If worse comes to worse and they're going to continue on with this Prometheus thing and this Alien Covenant thing, then I would hope that at least they would take a step back, realize, and look at the, look at everyone that went to see Covenant. And I guarantee you, majority, 95% of the critics that went, and see, went to see this film did not enjoy Covenant. They don't like the story arc. They don't like how everything was a jazz hand excuse of how the aliens were started. And they don't like that Ridley Scott played George Lucas episode 1 through 3 and fucked up the entire franchise altogether as far as storytelling goes. And the sad thing is, I would actually prefer episode 1 Phantom Menace over Alien Covenant. And it's, it's sad to me. As much as, you know, I hate Jar Jar Binks and all that shit, I would rather take that over Alien Covenant. Now, I really hope that Disney does not abandon this franchise, because with what they bought with Fox is way bigger. They got Avatar. And we all know Avatar is a massive movie as far as gross earnings is concerned. Aliens and Predator is probably not their top priority right now. But knowing that Avatar, the second Avatar movie is going to come out, what, next year or whatever, they know they're going to make a shitload of money. And Avatar was incredibly popular even though... For me, it didn't really grab me when I went and saw it in theaters. It was like, this is the first 3D film that I went and saw in the IMAX. And it was really long. And it wasn't that good. And I watched aliens have sex with their tails. It's kind of weird. But uh, my theory is that they're just going to abandon the series or the franchises for years. And they're going to cancel this Predator movie that's been in the works for like two years now. And I hope that's not the case. Now, I could eat my words, of course. 
in the next year if the movie comes out and it's absolute horseshit like Covenant was. And then it's just, you know, which is probably going to happen. But can Disney save Alien and the Predator franchise? Yes, they can. All it would take is some smart thinking, some smart people, putting the money in the right places and believing in the right people. Don't pull a fucking Alien 3 and shove it off to five different different directors because you can't you can't come to a conclusion of how you want things done. How, take in consideration there are people that have worked in this franchise for years in graphic novel form. Who would know the most about the Alien franchise? I would say the people at Dark Horse, and that's me coming as a as a regular consumer who just grew up loving the franchise. It doesn't take that big of critical thinking to know to go to those people. And that's what I would do. And that's when I would sit down and have the giant meeting where, what are we going to do here? Should we go with movies? I don't know. Ridley Scott kind of fucked it up for the last couple of movies. People are kind of going to be like, eh. And they look at Disney like a kid's movie producer. So, hmm, maybe that's not the way to go. Maybe, if we're going to do the things right here by the consumer and by the customer and by the people that love this, maybe we should go towards TV. Walking Dead's doing very well, and all those superhero TV shows that I don't watch are what I've been told are doing very well. But that's where I would go, and Disney has the funds, they have the manpower to do it. Now, I see all these things on the internet today about how Disney acquiring Fox is going to make all these people lose their jobs and things like that. Well, you know, that sucks, but that's how companies go. That is how business works. I mean, I've been replaced before at jobs because the company wanted to go for cheaper work or cheaper workers and get a mediocre product compared to the superior product is what I'm saying. I'm not just like, you know, blowing myself and patting myself on the back. It was just a matter of fact. That's how companies work. And hopefully those people find new jobs. I'm sure they will. Working in the movie industry and if you've got a certain line of movies on your resume that you've worked on, I guarantee those people are going to have a job. Maybe the people that worked on Alien Covenant might not have a job. Those writers. But you know... You wrote Alien Covenant and you worked on Alien Covenant. What do you want? I mean, Ridley Scott shouldn't be given any authority to make any more movies when it comes to Alien. He can't be trusted, in my opinion. And as far as the majority goes, for anyone that loves the Alien universe altogether goes, Ridley Scott cannot be trusted anymore to hold the reins. Very much like George Lucas after episode one through three, wasn't trusted for years to do anything with Star Wars. Now, from what I'm seeing on the internet as of today, people that went and saw Star Wars, they would have wished George Lucas had done this film, but I didn't see it, so that's why there's not a movie review. But uh, Disney can save Alien. Disney can save Predator. If they were to do it right, Sit down with the right people, use a little bit of critical thinking, and fork over the money, they could do it. And I would love, love to see an alien or predator or both themed ride at fucking Disneyland. Don't get me wrong, Disneyland to me kind of sucks ass, waiting in line. Uh, waiting an hour line to get on a four second ride it sucks but if they had an alien and predator ride you I guarantee I'd go just to be on it at least once you know Disneyland can make an amazing what is it set when it comes to building a theme park and rides and things like that now I'm not talking about their most recent thing where they tore down the Tower of Terror to put 
stupid fucking Guardians of the Galaxy on there. That, that's a big fuck up in my opinion, but that's, that's not even like worth talking about. But uh, uh, yeah, those are my opinions on Disney acquiring Fox and the Alien Predator franchise. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below, and um, you can also hit me up on Twitter. Follow me at Retro or Die. All right, guys. See you later.